Hi friends, it's Nancy, and I bet you have been anxious to see a flip through of this. I have continued to have a blast filling this journal up with all kinds of good stuff. Um, we have to do something first with this packing paper. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edge. with my handy dandy homemade edge thinger. Hope everybody's enjoying their Saturday. I think once I get this video done, I'm gonna see if a certain Mr. Doug would like to take his wife out for breakfast. This is just the way the paper goes. One way it tears easily because the fibers of the, the plant fibers um, are all in alignment in one direction. And then when you try to uh, tear the other way, it's difficult. Um, same like when you carve a roast, <laughs> you know, the fibers, the muscle fibers of the beef um, are all going in one, one direction. Let's see if it goes easier this way. And this is going to be an absolutely brainless <laughs> project. I'm tearing paper. Honestly, that's it. But it's uh, another thing you can do with packing paper. So... I'm going to fold it like, mm, like a greeting card, I guess. And this is a perfect pocket filler. You can do a little collage on it if you want to, but really it's just additional space to do some journaling. So that's what that's for. All right, let me clear the decks and we'll take a look at this journal. And I am back to do the flip through. I had an absolute ball <laughs> doing this journal. I loved everything about it. Um, I actually had to take stuff out because <laughs> I couldn't stop. Yeah, it was a problem. Uh, so you can see it's fluffy and nine inches by six and a quarter. So let's just start at the beginning. So um, the, this, the theme of this journal is Abandoned House. Um, this was a tutorial that uh, Donna from Past and Pages did. So the first thing you see here is this uh, photo of a farmhouse. 
and this was printed from a 100 year old negative there's a camera place across the street from my office that still prints um, regular film so I took it over and I said can you do anything with this and I said sure so this isn't the original photo I um, scanned it scanned it did it, it. <laughs> I scanned it and uh, made this collage on the front lots of layers of textiles which is a favorite of mine inside on this front cover or front page I guess I have a piece of blue ticking then I have this piece of calico and then I have this piece of linen that has some drawn thread work there and I've just attached it with a couple of rusty safety pins here I have a photo of a young lady again I've added textiles um, this I think this probably would have been um, uh, like at the where you attach the ribbon tie on a baby bonnet um, so this is some old ribbon silk ribbon another piece of fabric up there some stitching on this side I think I did this one on camera so this is an old envelope from a, an inn called Teller House in Central City Colorado I've added uh, just a scrap of lace and this is a matchbook from Piccadilly Circus Bar in New York flip it over we have this postcard of this family and I fussy cut this thistle and inside is just some packing paper torn packing paper that can be used for journaling on this side um, this is this is a, a flower made from a vintage wedding bouquet and I attached it to this hexagon um, quilt piece so it's paper pieced on this piece of something maybe from a, cal a calendar or a, a catalog or something and tucked into it this is some instructions about a quilt pattern so 144 squares for full quilt white cloth has printed and pointed ends white cloth has pointed ends two yards four pieces two yards no idea what she's making um here this is um a little piece of music um here i used the trim from a very old uh, cloth oven oven mitt not an oven mitt but a um, like a hot pad no you know what I mean and I have this rusty clip here I rusted this myself it's not old um, this card or maybe it was I think I cut this from a magazine and I glued it onto this uh, piece of card to make a um, journaling card. Yeah, a free 1920 style suit. This piece of fabric is torn from a um, an old apron, and I tore it where the pocket was. So inside the pocket is this um, envelope from 1928, pretty grubby, and it was actually um, uh, she had uh, the owner had written a recipe on there for Spanish cream. But I opened it up because it was 
in terrible shape and I um, backed it onto book page and added a writing space and some other vintage pieces. So that's in the pocket. Um, I've got a few buttons dangling there, another rust, big rusty safety pin, and this is a spool of mending wool. Um, this is a little recipe folder that maybe came with a, an enameled roasting pan. So it opens up like that, and I've just got a little scrap of antique lace. I've stitched this onto this tip out, but inside the pocket that I made there, there's a photo. It doesn't have a name on it. We'll just tuck her in there. Um, this can this I found in a sewing box, um, like a like a tin that had a bunch of buttons and stuff in it when I was in Georgia. So that was definitely that's definitely something you would find in an abandoned house. This is um, um, a packaging for uh, toothpaste. This is cut from a 1950s um, simplicity pattern. And this is an interesting photo because it's double exposed. Um, so you see two photos on top of each other. Kind of interesting to see. There's a lady with a dog there. It looks like maybe they were sitting on the front porch. But then superimposed on that is uh, this wagon, and then there's a tree and a house back there. So it's interesting. Um, that came with the negatives from the 1920s uh, farm. This is a piece of trim, upholstery trim. This is an old piece of lace that I stitched to this paper, um, Tim Holtz paper. Um, and this is just a scrap of paper. It talks about using um, how to make bread with uh, Horsford's bread preparation. On the other side, uh, this is an envelope um, that would have held postage stamps. It flips down and inside there's another little scrap of uh, packing paper that can be unfolded. I just stapled a little piece of lace at the top to make it easier to grab. Got some old trim stitched on there to this tea dyed paper. Just make sure I'm there. This is an old pattern, uh, embroidery pattern. This is um, a shopping bag and I've just um, folded over the end and inside is this uh, envelope. It held Fenko mending tissue uh, and inside just some packing paper. I mean that can be taken out and replaced with something else but it's uh, this paper bag. On the back I have this um, I think this was a cigarette card. Yep, John Player. And um, I took a, a flap from an envelope and glued it there just to make it a little hardier. On this side, uh, this was um, a collage I made and used it as a tuck spot. Uh, this is a envelope from I don't know when. And uh, I just opened it up so it could be used for journaling. But I thought the color was nice. This is a page from an agriculture book. Found this old photo, I'm not sure where, 
and on the back it said Isabel Jerome. So she looks like maybe she's some sort of gym teacher or Girl Scout leader or something. Um, well, I don't know. Um, I made this pocket here and added this piece of newspaper. And inside I have this rather long statement from 1919. an old uh, 1924 I think um, there's some more flowers from that vintage wedding bouquet uh, I just stitched it onto this tab I made from some old fabric uh, I touched this key I tied a little bit of um, vintage seam binding there. It's kind of unraveling. Rusty bulb pin. And this is an old uh, stamps. Torn from an envelope. This was part of a gift card and I made this little collage um, with little bits of paper. And inside it says important sections. So I think this was from a, a German, German class or something, uh, like a textbook. And here I have a little religious pamphlet. On this side I have uh, another long envelope. And I um, sewed this long <laughs> postcard. <clears throat> and this is a tuck spot. You can put something in there if you like. Maybe I'll just tuck that piece of paper in there. On the inside, I have, this is uh, from a, piano roll uh, label. The song's called Arizona Mona. I thought that was cute. An old um, milk cap and this is um, an antique card. Here I have, uh, this is a vintage um, address label. I inked it up a bit, added some old postage and there's this little picture of these ladies with a rusty paper clip. This card was from an old photo. I took the photo out and used this the folder as a, as a page. On the inside I have a postcard. It's to maybe it was just a note because there's no stamp on it, there's no address on it. Uh, this is a receipt from 1878. This is a recipe for some pickled cabbage. Um, I don't know how old it is. And on the other side, I made this collage of different green things. So this was from an old calling card. This is some kind of coupon. Another some kind of old farm journal. This came from an old book. Inside I tucked this tag. Uh, this was made from a paperback book. And I just uh, slipped on, or collaged on some magazine paper from an old um, appointment book. I made this little collage here. So this is some old tape. This is a, a back of a, a pay envelope. Some other things. Uh, so here's the pay envelope. 
and it flips out. So it would have opened here, uh, but I glued that shut and I put um, these things in. So uh, this is a Christmas card. It doesn't have a date on it and there's nothing on the back. Um, card number 325, that's interesting. I could probably look up that doctor's name and learn something about it. Um, this is a receipt from 1892. This is some braille paper with some old trim. On this side of that ledger, this is a little envelope that uh, had a sample of this medication in it. Um, I must have removed it because there's nothing in there. And here is a little card, a re-election card. Uh, I covered the back with some strips of paper and these little cutouts and I uh, added a piece of upholstery fabric as a tab. This is a vintage gift tag. I just put it down there as decoration. The string hangs out a little. Um, on this side of the um, agriculture book, I put this coupon and I, it says blue ribbon. So I added this little Valentine seal that has a blue ribbon on it. Um, this is some um, bias tape binding from the hot pad. This is an old Viewmaster reel. Inside I have a little letter from 1937 uh, from Will and Belle to my dear Ruth. So that goes inside the Viewmaster Reel envelope. Inside I have a blank prescription um, from Dr. Gordon. And this is a package for seals. It has these Easter lilies, but it opens right up so you could do some hidden journaling. This, these are some uh, vintage uh, labels, would have been a premium, that came with uh, your Serto um, uh, to make jam. Pectin, pectin, that's what it is. Uh, so I just glued that down, and this is uh, an old um, ticket, dairy ticket, and some more of that trim from the, from the hot pad. Here's the other side of that paper bag. On the front, I um, just glued down this um, cutting from a newspaper um, by Prudence Penny. This is a photo that was from that same um, envelope of photos from that uh, 1920s farm. Um, I just used my mini my Tim Holtz mini attacher stapler thing to staple on the words wild rose. I thought maybe she, this is Rose and maybe she gets wild sometimes. She looks like she's got it together right now, but you know, once she lets that hair down. Inside, and I did nothing to age this. This was among some papers I had. Um, so this is all about how to make wine, beer, champagne. Uh, 
On this side, this is a, a little card from an Uncle Wiggly game, and I added these little pieces from an, an, a vintage uh, bingo game. Here is the front of that pot holder. That's the word I'm looking for, pot holder. And inside I have a receipt from 1929. And it talks about um, using gold metal brand products. So this uh, pot holder. I took, a, I took it apart. I took out all of the quilting. There's some stray thread still there, but that's okay. Um, and made a pocket out of that. That's on this um, page from an embroidery book. This is an old cigarette card. Um, this photo I just recently found while I was cleaning out some boxes in the laundry room. Oh, so it was it was folded in half at some time. I have repaired it and um, I made a little pocket out of it and inside is this little card that has uh, a, a gold rose. On this side is another um, a card and it's, it's antique. This one is from 1925. This is an imperial oil um, receipt. This is a piece of fabric that I stitched on there. It's actually two pieces of actual um, feed sack fabric. Little piece of crochet lace, antique button. I had cut this little uh, label from um, a child's dress from the 1950s. This is from an antique calling card. Inside this little pocket, I have a photo of these women. This looks probably World War II era. It says Nell and Friends. And this is part of a card from a truck battery. This little label came from um, some thread, a box of thread. I stitched on this little rusty pin, just sort of as a, um, like a tab. Um, this is some twill, twill tape that's been uh, stitched on there. This little glassine envelope, it says Smedley Stamp Voucher. Save it for special stamp offers. This was in a collection of stamps that I found. This is a very old um, cigarette card. Uh, Millbank quality cigarette and um, this is a dingo so this would have popped up you can see where it's uh, <laughs> perforated <laughs> I've just tucked that old dingo in there um, this is a slide from uh, who knows when. The, again, this aging is natural. I just put a little bit of distress ink on the very, very edge. Another piece in the, the other half of that apron. Um, this envelope came from a um, an insurance policy book. I used um, some onion skin to make an, um, a window. You can't see through it, but it's there. This is a, um, a little booklet that, hel that held photos. I have taken the photos out, but I've put in, I've put in um, little slips of paper 
These can be removed and replaced with photos or removed and new paper added as it's used up. Uh, this was the back of an envelope. I just put it down there as decoration. That's a um, uh, vintage button card. Um, this is a this is reproduction. This isn't genuine. I'm not going to put that in. Let's get something genuine here. Here we go. This is a uh, V-mail. So um, this was during World War II, of course. Uh, this says 1944. So um, he says it's Sunday somewhere on the Atlantic Ocean. So to me, what it looks like is in order to reduce the weight of um, mail, it was photographed and the films returned to the U.S. where it could be printed in this smaller format and that would save the weight of all of the letters going back and forth um, during the war years. This is a page from a old book. Uh, the twins played around the rock pool all day. So this is January 24th, 1929. To Billy Langford from his mother. This little card, uh, this, it's, I think I found it in a Bible. So it's a card and um, it does have some some text, um, religious text on it. So I've stitched that down with a blanket stitch, some lace, some fabric, and uh, I just clipped it with that clip there. The clip's not really holding anything, but I think you get the idea. On this side, um. I've just put some scraps of paper. This is um, from an autograph book. It says, may your life always be happy and bright. Your Aunt Louise. Louise. There's another photo from that uh, 1920s farm. On the other side of the uh, ticking, I have, this is, um, I have no idea. It has these two eyelets that are stitched around with this embroidery. I have no idea what it was part of. I've got some wool here. Uh, I've pinned on this old piece of uh, um, crocheted motif. And on the back of the page, page, I've made this little um, cluster of different laces and fabrics and stitched on this antique shell button. And that is my abandoned house journal. If you are seeing this journal, it is listed in my Etsy shop. Thanks so much for watching. I can't wait to make another journal like this. Um, be sure to go over and check Donna's channel so you can make one for yourself as well. And we'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.